Red, White and Royal Blue was a much hyped book in the book community, although the hype of this book within the book community didn't translate into real life. This book was given categorically good reviews and I disagree with them all. This is how not to write a book and the art of bad writing shows within this. So let's address the characters of this book. They are dull. They have no personality. Each voice sounds the same and it just falls flat on those levels. If you're going to try and write convincing characters, give them a personality. This book didn't have that. These characters were mediocre and uninteresting. The writer really needed more time with these characters and actually writing distinct and individual voices, which this writer failed at in this book. The writing is complete mess. The story jumps around from scene to scene. There's no build up, there's no connection. And when there is build up, there's no payoff. The writer writes like fan fiction a dun 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 moment at the end of a chapter but it doesn't really go anywhere you know i was half expecting like my immortal type authors know throughout it because it just was a mess this book showed what mediocre writing is i really hope they get better this story was written to the point of no return it just was endless scenes with no connection and no links. It was childish, it was juvenile, and it really did feel like a 13-year-old on fanfiction.net. The author's lack of research on British culture. The British stereotyping in this book was off the charts. We know what mosquitoes are. We know what cockroaches are. We do actually have them in England. A basic Google will tell you this. The lack of research shows throughout this book and it's very much an American-centric view of Britain, and that's kind of scary. If you're going to write about other countries, at least research them first before doing it, before putting pen on paper. Research, research, research is how you do it. When you create something that's so stereotyping that it's almost laughable, it kind of just shows that you just wanted to write your own fantasy. The bastardization and fetishization and I have problems saying those words, of gay culture. Oh, where do we start? This book was written with straight women in mind. It had the lovely chiclet cover, and it was very much pretty gay boys. It's the pro horrible, selfish characters with no notion, and this bastardization of LGT in this book was shocking. You know, the book community screams own voice constantly, but this isn't own voice. This isn't marketed towards the people that the book is about. This is marketed at heterosexual women. And that kind of fails it on many levels. It is this bizarre fetishization, and again, I have problems saying that word, of gay culture that I see repeatedly within fiction, especially marketed towards women. I was half expecting some gay handbags to show up. When it comes to writing, when it comes to creating a crafting something believable, this book fails. It's inability to hold a narrative, it's inability to put a storyline in there. And some of those scenes were so cringy, it was just off the charts to the turn. This book was embarrassing, and as a gay man I felt kind of insulted by this book. <laughs> Many, um, and, and as a writer, I'm like, if this shit can get published, I'm in for a chance. At the end it was reductive, and it showed how, um, redundant the booktube and book community is online when this book was so hyped up and everyone gave it a free pass because of rep but fundamentally realized it didn't go into anything more than that this is surface level gay porn nothing more nothing less and it's badly written if you want to read this kind of book you can get so much free if you want some nice softcore gay teeny boy porn you can get it free on the internet so yes this is the art of bad writing this is a book that I absolutely hated, and there it is.